a little over 24 hours uh, since I put on the B escapes, since Dave and I put on the B, B escapes. So I'm going to go check out, see how well the B escapes worked, and see if I can pull some honey supers off and then move the B escapes down a little bit lower. So we'll see how that works. I've got a uh, half suit on, nothing on my legs, and I'm not taking gloves in, so I might smoke, and we'll see how that works and if they are nice and tame this afternoon or if I'm gonna get a couple stings. See how this works. This is hive number one which is my best and strongest hive. I've got two brood boxes and one, two, three, four honey supers. And that's a good sign right there that the bee escapes working. I got one bee flew away and another one's right there so Usually there's bees all over the place up top here. Let's see, we'll pop off this inner cover. See how many bees we got in here. A couple. Not like it usually is though. It's a good sign. There's a few down there. All right. You should be able to pop off this super and put the top cover back on and I'll take this over to the trailer and then come back and switch out some more supers and put the bee escape on again. So we'll be right back. Okay, the honey super's off. This is the bee escape. It's like, I would say 95, 97 to 98% of the bees went down below and never made it back up. So. That's a nice, clean, almost bee-free super that I can take and harvest. This is probably 50 pounds, 50 to 60 pounds of honey right here. All right, I'll move this to the trailer, and we'll reshuffle the deck on some of these boxes here. And that'll get sporty. I'm taking the bee escape off now. I'll put a little smoke in there, try to calm them down a little. Right. There's all the bees. I'm trying to figure out how to get back up, and they can't. And that's how that works. They can come out, but they can't go back up. Now, I'm going to take this box off, set it aside, pull this box off, and put this back box back on, and the bee escape on top of this, and then this one back on top. This one should be ready to harvest. So we'll go ahead and shuffle that deck. The bees will get a little bit excited when I do this, so we'll see how that works. Okay, so I took off the honey super. That's in the trailer. And I was going to put this one under this one, but when I looked at this super, it still needs some time, so I will not put a bee escape on. I know this box is full. That's a deep, so that's probably about 70 to 80 pounds of honey there. This one needs a couple more weeks. So I'll wait probably one or two weeks and I'll come out and do the bee escape on this and pull these two off to harvest. This one I will not harvest this year. It just doesn't have enough honey in it. All right, let me go to hive number four. We do the same thing here. I'm gonna take off this super, which is not ready to harvest, no, which is ready to harvest, all the bees have escaped, gone down through the bee escape, which is here. So they have not come back up into this honey super. So I'll take this one off and I'll see if this one is ready to harvest. And if so, I'll switch these and put the bee escape between them. So we'll see how that goes. So, these didn't go down as much, but there's a few more on this one that are still up top than the other one. So let's see what happens when we pop the inner cover. Let's see how many bees are on this one yet. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's definitely more than the other one. I might give this another day, let them work their way down, get more of them to work their way down, then I'll come back and pull this one off. So 
All right, so we got one honey in the trailer, one honey super in the trailer. We'll come back tomorrow for this one. Let the bee escape do its job another 24 hours. And then we'll pull this off and switch these two and continue the process. All right, that's the medium honey super I took off from the far colony all the way down at the end. It's still bearding a little bit. That's been the strongest hive all season. The one right next to it, it's got the two brood boxes and the deep honey super. Probably the, the weakest. This one on the end is probably the second weakest. That's actually one that survived this past winter. It was going strong for a while and then just sort of faded out. Um, they are producing a little bit of honey, but not, but not enough to harvest. So I'll be harvesting from the very end and this one here, second from the left, that tall one there. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, day two, a little bit later in the evening or afternoon than I had planned. I had a lot of work to do today. Uh, so plan today is to take this honey super. I came out earlier and just took it off the uh, bee escape and just set it aside. So I'm going to take that honey super, put it in the wagon and take it back up, and then take the bee escape off of this one. It's under the top cover there. And uh, maybe switch switch two out. We'll see. So this is the honey super I took off yesterday. And let's put it in the wagon now. And you can hear all the bees in there yet. The bee escape obviously didn't get all the bees out. There are still bees in there. Looks like there's some good cat honey in there. I'm going to take this up into the shop and cover it so no one robs it, and then we'll harvest later on. Alright, now I'm going to switch out some supers and do a little super dance. Alright, the escape is off. I used that as a temporary inner cover last night. So I'll take that off now, put the inner cover back on. And let these girls keep working. The girls will find their way home. And then I'll be back out sometime next week and do some more removal of honey supers. And I'll start harvesting a couple weeks after that. Okay, that's it for today. All right, I just did some super dancing, super shuffling. So the far hive, the top medium, or I'm sorry, deep super, has got a bee escape underneath it. So I'll come out sometime tomorrow or the next day and pull that super. The next hive is very weak. Uh, no honey from that one. I'll just let that continue to build out the comb this year and then I'll pull that honey super off probably mid-September. Next hive over, uh, I've got seven frames that I can pull off that top super. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the the uh, second super down, I can pull seven frames out of there. So I'll let that sit probably till mid-September, maybe get a couple more frames out of there. Uh, the next one over, I've got the, I did the super shuffle there and put the deep honey super on top, the escape underneath. So that's a full deep honey super. I'll pull that when I come back for the first one, probably sometime either late tomorrow or early on Wednesday. Give them 24 to 48 hours to get the bees out of there. And this one, number five, was the one that wintered over last year. Never really got traction this year. But um, so I had to step away. I was actually had my shirt off, so a couple bees found me. Anyway, that last hive is the one that made it through last winter. Started taking off pretty strong and then just sort of petered back out. So I won't get any honey off of that one. I'll just take that one down. To the uh, 
two brood boxes to see if I can winter it over again. So I'll be back tomorrow. This is day four of my 2020 harvesting process. I'm going to go in and pull off two deep honey supers uh, that I put the bee escapes on the other day. I got the tractor here because those deep honey supers are heavy. Uh, so I'll just load them up on a pallet and take them back up into the barn. So I'm going to finish suiting up and then I'll uh, drive down the lane to the Okay, the suited hive. up. I've actually got the GoPro running now, so we'll see how the editing goes with that. And uh, let's go to the bees. All right, we're at the hive. Uh, I'm going to set up the tripod phone on the tripod so I can pull the deep super off that one right off my right shoulder, take the bee escape off, and put the inner cover back on and seal that one up. And I'll do the same with that one. I'll take the deep honey super off, take the bee escape off, put the inner cover on, outer cover on, and then seal it back for harvesting. All right, let's see how this goes. See how the, the bee escape worked. Shouldn't be a whole lot of bees up top here. And this is a very heavy super, so I'm taking it off and putting it right here on the tractor. may have to use the leaf blower to get some of these bees out. Still looking good. Not a whole lot of bees there. All right, let's see if we can get this over to the tractor without breaking anything. About to see where all the bees are right now. That's the bee escape doing its job. I'll we'll set this off to the side. Let the girls go back into the hive. All right, one down. Let's see, all those bees there will end up back in the hive. Okay, hive, hive number four. A couple more bees on this one than there were on the other one, so this one. Maybe a little bit more sporty.
there's two deep honey supers. That's about, I don't know, 120 to 140 pounds of honey. So that'll be a good harvest there. All right, we'll take this bee escape off. And seal this one back up. All right, girls, come on in. Heads up. Yeah, they're a little active right now. Okay. Okay, so starting from the right, we've harvested a deep and a medium honey super from that one. There's still two mediums on that far right one. Next one in, it's got a deep uh, honey super. We will not harvest that. We'll leave that sit there till mid-September and see how that works out. Uh, the next one with the two deeps on it, I may get seven to ten frames between those two deeps. Uh, number four there, it's got a medium left on it. That I don't know if I'll get any frames from that one. And then number five here on the left, uh, like I said in the, earlier, is the weakest of this year. I might get one or two frames out of that one, out of those two mediums. Uh, but I'll come back mid-September, maybe towards the end of September, and and check those out. But for now, I'm taking these two deeps back and doing some harvesting. All right, I'm back up at the barn. Um, there's still bees in those boxes, so I'm gonna use the leaf blower and uh, clear them out. And then I'll put them in storage until I'm ready to pull some honey. Now we'll seal them back up. And I've got two mediums I'm gonna put on top of here and then we'll put them away. All right, those four boxes I'll harvest. We have a... Uh, a show we have to go to the end of September, so that's uh, 60, 120, and then there's two mediums, it's probably a, about another 120. That's about 240 pounds of honey there. So just shy of 20 gallons, maybe 18 gallons of honey, and we'll see how that comes out. And we've got a couple frames out there, and probably another 10 frames I can pull mid September. And we'll start the harvesting.